instead of being about scales, this next video is going to be about arpeggios because witches dance is full of arpeggios. Arpeggios have a sound like this. This is an arpeggio with the notes a little bit out of order. So arpeggios are made of a special kind of pattern. It's a stack of thirds. That means notes that are skips apart. So instead of going D, E, F sharp, like we would in the scale, we skip from D up to F sharp. That's a third. Then we're going to skip from the F sharp, leaving out the next note of the scale, the G, going up to A. So that's two thirds on top of each other. D to F sharp and F sharp to A. We can play these at once and then it forms a chord. But if we separate them, that's called breaking the chord. And that's what an arpeggio is, a broken chord. We always add the octave, meaning the high version of our first note, for the last note of the piece. So that's not even a skip, it's a jump. We leave out two fingers. So our D major arpeggio is D, F sharp, A, D. Let's try that in the sixth pattern that we did from the scales. Ready, go. D, F sharp, A, high D, A, F sharp, low D. That D major arpeggio doesn't happen very often in the piece, but it's in the key of the piece. So now let's talk about the first arpeggio that happens in Witch's Dance. The first arpeggio is an A major arpeggio, which is the same pattern. A, skip to C sharp, skip to E, jump to the third finger, the high A. So your first job is to play that with me in sixes. One, two, three, ready, and go. arpeggio that happens is actually the out of order one. So we're going to skip that one and do the arpeggio that happens in bar 17 of the piece. This is the same arpeggio we just did, but it starts from the high A, goes back to E, back to C sharp, back to A, back to C sharp, Back to E, up to high A. So it's kind of like a reversed one. Let's put it all together. A, E, C sharp, high two, open, high two, open, three. The next arpeggio is exactly the same order of notes, but starting from D this time. So third finger on the A. arpeggio in the entire piece is that arpeggio, D major, but starting from the low D. That's the last two bars of the piece. Ready? Go. Mm -hmm. 